Hey guys, we got a 2021 Yukon Denali XL of all things. I guess it's extra long. Should be extra XS, extra expensive. This is the uh, prep kit, non scratch setup for the newer windows. Cool thing about this blade is, is it tucks way up in behind the seals. Now, if you got an old vehicle that's uh, crusty and whatever, you know, if you've tended to know, that this is not gonna do what a razor blade would do. We're not building it to do that. That's not what we're trying to do. But what we're trying to do is, is give you an option for some of this newer stuff that uh, has uh, soft windows and or soft glass and we can get down in here now. We're using the speed loaders. You can see how far this lets you drop this down in there. You know these new 2021 GM vehicles, the seals take a little while to pull out. You have to pull the, the panels and all that stuff. Now I went over it with that and that's sufficient, but I'm also going to show you it comes with a scrub pad too. So you can take the white scrubby and go over the window. The scrubby comes in handy on these new vehicles that has laminated glass. It gives the ability, and this is a brand new vehicle now, but we're talking it's got very few miles on it. But when it's laminated, you got this two piece glass. So we take this and we scrub that groove out. I'm not expecting this to be dirty, but guess what? It is, that's what comes out of it. So that's one thing you need to pay attention to. I'm trying to roll through this. I got my son, he's a, in there shipping orders. He come in a little early to help us out today. And uh, he hates running the video camera. It'd probably be our luck before we get done. The phone's gonna ring, so. Anyway, we're hoping to get it done. And I do a, a two squeegee process on this. I squeegee everything out the first time and let it run down the cracks. And I'm gonna hit it one more time. And uh, this video will probably get some air time on other groups that may get kicked off because it seems like I'm advertising and in a way I am, but my form of advertising is to show you products in the industry that's not just there for the glitz and glamor. They actually work and help you make money. We're utilizing our new judge blade, prep blade, and this side winder, which is some stuff that you can order different blade urometers in these same handles and use. Now, anybody that would tell you you can print with something harder than a, say, an 85 durometer, you probably can. It's not recommended. A squeegee, prep and clean squeegee, is designed and made to have a little grip to it in order to pull the contamination off the glass. I'll just do this one before I pick it up. I'll have to rinse it off. But we now have this window ready to load. Now I'm gonna bring this window back at the top just a little bit. Cause I'm gonna bottom load it for you with these two tools here. And uh, we're gonna go that route. This thing, the cylinder size in it, allows you to pump 30 to 60% more volume than a standard pump. It's also got an internal filter. Just one of the things that we got going on and cross drilled and bolstered with some stainless steel screws. But that's not what we're doing right now but i'm going to show you we're, we're flushing the corners even though we've done cleaned it you see how these things open the gap lets the, the solution run down past it into the door we're fixing to put this film on here like i say bottom of it for you not fire from this rascal When I load one, I like to load the short side first or the front side, get it down in the seal. It gives me some room to bring this thing forward so we can get the back dropped in behind this lip without any issue. This way we can push the film all the way back up in the, into the seal like this. This gives us plenty of room to work with and we don't have any binding up issues with the film. Now that's all the way in there. We've got a nice fit on that edge, which I'm glad because 
it's uh these laminated glasses are a little harder to shave than a regular glass. Now y'all probably hear in the background that train. We get we play trains around here. Bremen, Georgia was one of the textile capitals of Georgia. It's a hub for trains running every different direction. It's got a I don't know what you call it, so I don't know, turnstile for trains. Pretty cool little setup, but anyway. Now, this right here is our prep blade. Now, I'm just tacking it down with this. By no means is this hard enough to extract the water out of the, the film. I'm gonna reach around here and get some stuff off my tray here. Now these two tools, this is another tool we got. We sell one now, it's a, called Vader. It's a black one, we chose black just so it goes good with the name. This here is our channel sledgehammer blade put into a unique style handle that we got fixed up. It really extracts a bunch of solution. And uh, one of my favorite blades because it's a 94 durometer, but yet it glides like butter, you can see the film is dry. I'm not adding any more water to it. It's still powering out the solution. And the good thing about the way it's cut, I can reach up in here and do this and this. Now, like I said, our other two that we put on production is called Vader. It's a black one, identical to this. It's got the two-part slip tape and PPF mounted on it. Now, this is what I get up in these corners with to really extract all the water. I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna ease this down with it. It's like this. I work from the center to the edge, working this over in there. Same thing over here. When you work from the center to the edge, you work any stressed or fingers or puckers to the edge. You don't want to try to work in the middle, especially on these vehicles. Now with these tools, you can heat it from the inside because they do somewhat shield the panel, but not 100%. Now instead of squeezing down again, I'm gonna take half the glass work it over. We call it cheating the fingers. It cheats them out of the opportunity to form in the middle because we're pressing it all over into the corner. how you do these windows. Now on this right here, we just put a little tension on this, release the, uh, the tension. I don't have any handles on these. We have ran out of handles, so I just opted to do this this way so I could use them for myself. And uh, it worked out pretty good, but the handles should be in today so we can get some of these back on the site. People keep asking about them. But this little clamp goes up under the door. It's made out of polymer, doesn't scratch anything. These two babies go right in here in the film. You slide them right straight up and out. It holds a panel, long panel cover. Y'all see that? Look at that. Fat boy got moved. And look at the door panel. Show them how much water is on it. Very little runs down the edge. Everything is dry. You remember, your customer don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. Gasket Pro Tools, Ace Window Tinting, and the Film Benders Guild. If you guys are not a member of a group, or if you are a member, come check out the Film Benders Guild. We have a lot of stuff going on. Most of our guys in there are 30 year plus veterans. And uh, it's a great bunch of people. And uh, that's pretty much it. Rodney McClure, the old film bender, helping you make money. Later guys. Finished product. What a match. Any of you guys that's interested in these products that we used to do this installation, look no further than Gasket Pro Tools. We got you covered. Thank you guys.